Here, we're going to do a problem that focuses on intermolecular forces and boiling point. It's part of a bunch of AP Chem resources you can check out right here. So, which of the following gases would be most likely to have a boiling point very close to that of the noble gas argon? Now, whenever the AP exam gives you formulas and asks you about boiling point, melting point, or other phase-related data, the question is usually asking about intermolecular forces, or IMF. And here's the main point. In general, the stronger the intermolecular forces between particles, the higher the boiling point. And that's because particles with stronger attractive forces take more energy to pull apart, so they boil at higher temperatures. This problem asks us to select a choice that has a boiling point very close to that of argon. So, we're going to be looking for an answer choice that has similar intermolecular forces to those of argon. Well, let's take a look at argon. Argon is a noble gas. It exists as a single atom, and it's nonpolar. So, we're looking for an answer choice that has low intermolecular forces. When we look over our answer choices here, we immediately see that three of them are diatomic elements, Cl2, F2, and H2, and one of them is not. All diatomic elements are nonpolar, so these three are likely candidates. HCl, on the other hand, is the outlier. And in this case, chlorine is pretty electronegative and hydrogen is not, which means that HCl is a polar molecule. It experiences dipole-dipole attractions, which are a strong form of IMF. It's going to have a higher boiling point compared to these and of argon, so we can cross it off. It's the clear outlier. But now, we have to figure out which of these remaining three diatomic elements has a similar IMF to argon. So, what kind of intermolecular forces do nonpolar particles experience? Well, they experience London dispersion forces. London dispersion forces, or LDFs, are caused by the random motion of electrons at any given instant. The random movement of electrons creates temporary dipoles, little zones where you have a partial positive and a partial negative charge, and that creates little flickers of attraction. London dispersion forces are the weakest of intermolecular forces. They're still very important for the AP Chem exam. So we want to be figuring out which of these molecules has similar London dispersion forces to argon? Well, London dispersion forces are caused by the motions of electrons. We're looking for an answer choice that has the similar number of electrons to argon. Looking at the periodic table, we see that argon is element number 18. Because it's electrically neutral, if it has 18 protons, it's going to have 18 electrons. So 18 is a magic number here. Whichever one of these diatomic elements has closest to 18 electrons, that's going to be our correct answer. So let's count up the electrons. We've got chlorine, fluorine, and hydrogen. Now, at first, you may be tempted to say, aha, chlorine has atomic number 17. It's got 17 electrons, which is closest to 18. This is a great example of the AP test trying to trick you. Because remember, these aren't atoms, they're diatomic elements. That means each particle is a molecule of paired atoms, C2, F2, and H2. So, Cl2 has 34 electrons, F2 has 18 electrons, and H2 has 2 electrons. And there's our magic number. 18 electrons for F2 matches the number of electrons in argon, so it's very likely that F2 and argon are going to be experiencing similar London dispersion forces because of their same number of electrons. So the correct answer here is answer choice C, fluorine. And now just to point out one more thing, boiling point can also be influenced by the mass of the particles. And 
if you look at the mass of argon and the mass of F2, they're very, very close. So not only do they have similar London dispersion forces because of the same number of electrons, they also have similar masses. And that's only more confirmation that C here is our correct answer.